everybody and welcome back. It's your boy Drongo Cares of the Black Bulls Night Squad at Twitch.tv or Raven Sun at TikTok. And it's that time. That's right, it's time again. We're uploading another video of Digimon Trading Card Game. I'm kind of on a roll right now and keeping it going. This is me here on the left playing Gammamon, Triforce Gammamon, up against Pulsemon. Yeah, that's right, Pulsemon. You heard right. Um... And it's being played by Tyler. Tyler actually won this one. He managed to beat me here, and uh, he did it really well, I might add. Uh, he was able to just utterly 2-0 me and just totally crush me. But it was back and forth, and it felt very uh, it felt very fun to play against, and it didn't feel one-sided or too annoying in any particular way. So it was definitely a uh, fun experience to play against this deck. Um, so, alrighty. Um, definitely having a lot of fun with the Gammon deck still. Can't wait for a uh, new support to come out in BT11. The biggest thing that I'm waiting on right now, though, is uh, for the BT10 to drop so that I can go ahead and get Ragna Lordmon finished up 100% uh, and start playing it in some of these videos and locals and whatnot. It certainly definitely would be a lot of fun to play. Um, can't wait. I'm so super excited. Um, just it's gonna be a whole whole experience uh, whenever I manage to get to you to play the new deck. Uh, let me mute this in the background here. Okay. So you can see here that um, struggling to get through. Uh, he he hit a Gaia Force on the first swing. I decided to end off turn by going ahead and nuking board and keeping him doing any free plays during the next turn. Try and slow him down. And ultimately, probably just didn't work out because Pulsemon doesn't do a lot of free playing. What it does is it tries to reduce costs to Digivolve faster and Digivolve bigger uh, sooner than the opponent can. It's basically just a tactic of reducing costs. So it's kind of hard to counter because there's not a lot of stuff out there that just says no to reducing. There's just stuff that says slow down. So it's a little bit hard to deal with. But at the same time, it's not an overbearing strategy either. So that's why I say it was very, very fun to play against this. It didn't feel one-sided, and it felt very, very fun to uh, compete against. Um, so ultimately, had a great time. Um, can't wait to uh, play against this deck or other decks like it again in the future. It was, uh, it was a whole new experience. Whole new world. Just kidding. Anyways, um, uh, let's see here. So here comes the, the combo where he just whams into all of your security in one go. And that's the end of game one. Here we are with game two. Uh, basically the same shakedown. Went a little bit smoother here in game two. Managed to control his board a little bit better this time. Um, was, uh, was definitely given a, a stronger pushback. But in the end, uh, Pulsemon just managed to run a lot faster and just kept staying ahead of me. I was struggling to keep up, and uh, it, it was uh, I learned some stuff about my deck today that I was not aware of, but now I am. So that's actually uh, pretty cool uh, to know that I have uh, found a particular weakness in my deck that it needs to be adjusted. That's okay. We basically just got to wait for BT11 stuff to come out anyways. Um, once all that stuff comes out, uh, then the deck will be a lot more beefed up and I'll have uh, better options and uh, better Digimon to work with than just the uh, few that we have available right now and BT9 meta. Um, <clears throat> so here he is building up the stack again. I don't like the Sequoia monster out there, so I'm just going to Gaia Force that. And uh, just be done with it. So it's gone. Dealt with. No problem. Uh, immediately just builds all the way up into... Uh, I forget what the, the Mega's name is. Like Sakujimon or Shakujimon or, or Shakuamon. I can't remember. But um, he's going to quickly ladder up to it. And, uh, and uh, just go on the uh, combo Fritz hits. And uh, just obliterate. It's a great deck, and I, I, honestly, it was a deck. It was a great deck when it came out first, came out, and it's a great deck now too. Um, I'm still having a lot of fun with Gammon Triforce, but uh, expect me to put this deck on rest here soon. 
when uh, Ragnar Lordmon hits the uh, streets because that will be the deck that I build and that will be the deck that I play for a while to come. Uh, gonna have a lot of fun. But once the rest of Gammon stuff comes out, uh, Gammon will become, you know, or the it will become the deck that I just play all the time. So that was game two. There he wins, and I had fun.